In this video, we'll look at how to solve a binomial distribution word problem. So the word problem says a factory com produces computer chips with a 0.9 defective rate. The most common problem here is people write the wrong Q value. It's a 0.9% failure rate, but that's a percentage. To make it a decimal, it would be 0.009. You move the decimal over two spots to make it from a percentage to a decimal. And so the Q is not 90, it's 0.9%. And to make sure you got the right Q. That's the real trick of this question, I think. So what's the p-value? You can just do 1 minus this number. You can do it in your head probably, but if you want to be extra cautious, do it on a calculator, you get 0.991. Now we know the probability of success, and the probability of failure. So the question asks, in a batch of 100 computer chips, what is the probability that one is defective exactly? This is a binomial distribution. We're looking for the probability of one being defective. Well, if you know your binomial distribution formula, that's just going to be of the 100 computer chips, choose 99 to be successful. Your successful probability is 0.991, and so you raise that to the power of 99. And your failure probability is just 0.009, and you have exactly one of those. We're going to do that whole calculation. I'm going to put a rounding dot because for sure there's going to be rounding. We'll do that whole calculation at once on the calculator. 100, choose 99, times 0.991 to the power of 99, times 0.009 to the power of 1. You don't really need the power of 1. And you get 0. Point, let's round to five decimals. 0. 0.36773. A simple question with a simple answer. The probability of exactly one defective is, you can leave it as a decimal or make it a percent just by moving the decimal over two points. We get 36.773%. That's the probability for exactly one defective. Easy. Question B. It's a little trickier. It says, what's the probability that at least three are defective? The key is in that, that word least. Probability at least three defective. Well, we're testing 100 chips. If we wanted to do at least three defective, we could do it straight up by going, okay, that could be three defective or four defective or five defective or six defective or seven defective, all the way up to 100. That's a lot of calculations. It's much, much easier to use the indirect method, which is just going to say, let's take 100% or one as a decimal and subtract out. If it's at least three defective, then let's do 100% take away what we don't want. That is zero defective and take away one defective, which we've already solved for and take away two defective. So if we just do 100% take away what we don't want, we'll be left with three or four or five, that is at least three defective. So this is just gonna be one minus, what's the probability of having zero defective? Well, just like we set up for this one, you have 100 chips, choose all 100 to be successful. So you get 0.991 to the power of 100 and 0 0.009 to the power of zero. And we'll set it up again, even though I know how it's gonna work for one defective. It's the same as last time, and you can just read this right here. We'll go through it again. You have 100 chips, choose 99 of them to be effective, so that's 0 0.991 to the power of 99. And then the failure of 0 0.009 happens once. And then for the two defective of your 100 computer chips, choose 98 of them to be effective. So that's 0.991 to the power of 98. And then your defective rate of 0 0.009 happens twice. And now we'll calculate these probabilities. Let's do each one separately and leave this one out here. We don't want to forget that 100% minus so what's 100 choose 100? It's just one, but you can check on your calculator if you don't believe me. 
and I choose 100 is 1 times 0 0.991 to the power of 100 equals and you can times it by 0 0.09 to the power of 0 but that's just 1 you don't need to multiply anything by 1 you just get the same thing so let's use that number and we'll just round to 5 decimals and I get 0 0.4 Oh, four, nine, and that's a one, but round up because of the six. So point four oh four nine two minus hundred choose ninety nine. Well, we already know this one. I'm not going to recalculate it. We did it right here. It's zero point six three six seven seven three. And now the last one. Hundred choose ninety eight. That I can't do in my head. I'm going to use a calculator. Hundred choose ninety eight times point nine nine one the power of 98 times 0 0.009 to the power of 2 and you get approximately 0. Point, let's round to five decimals again 16531 and now we'll just do this final thing all at once we'll do one take away those decimals take away 4.40492 4, take away 0.36773 take away point one six five three one and you get zero point zero six two oh four so we've got it wasn't that hard in fact to calculate the probability of at least three defective we just subtracted zero defective one defective and two defective from 100 percent and we got approximately let's write a therefore statement because it's a word problem the probability of at least three defective is and move the decimal over two to make it a percentage 6.204 percent so that's an example of how to use binomial distribution in a word problem